Today I'm going to show you how to make um, Windows XP look like a uh, Mac OSX OS X line with the icons and everything down there. Toolbar. So, first that you want to do, you want to go to um, the internet browser and um, go to the link in the description. I'll post it. It's, uh, comments right here and just um, click the download file and um, um, show you. I'm not going to download it. I already downloaded it. But if you have Windows 7, it um, it will it still will work. See, my computer is really slow. It doesn't slow down your computer. Though. If you have a fast computer, your computer is going to stay fast. It's only 58 megabytes. But what you want to do is you want to hit save. And if it asks you, it'll ask you where to save it. And you just want to save it to your desktop or your documents or whatever. And once it's like downloaded and installed, just um, find it. You can go to like click on it, and I you have to have WinRAR by the way. And, um, I'll post that link in the description too. You can get WinRAR. But after you get WinRAR, it, it'll like um, unzip it for you. So you just hit run the application, and it tells you to restart your computer. Once you restart, it'll change like your boot up screen and everything. It'll be all like Apple looking in your toolbar and everything. And um, you can, you know, here's your old Mac logo, your Apple logo. But it's still, you know, XP style, I guess. And your Safari will actually be Internet Explorer until you actually download Safari. And like I downloaded Safari. I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube. But yeah. Thanks for watching. This is um this is very simple. And there's like no viruses. It's very, very simple. And the I some of the icons don't work, like the app store icon. It still bounces, but it'll it'll pop up as like a picture, like right here. Yep. Yeah, it'll pop up as a picture. Yeah, it sucks, but it, for for I think this is probably the best one I've ever had for XP. I didn't I did a skin pack, and it broke my computer. I'm on a laptop with a mouse, so it's right here in the click me now. But it's an old IBM like R51. It has 1.2 megabytes of RAM, 1.5 megabytes of RAM, and a 1.6 processor. It has Windows XP, and I um it's got dual boot with Windows 7. So that's probably why it's a little slow on the XP side. I'll post a video later about how to do it on Windows 7. So thanks for watching, and I um I hope I enjoy that you're uh, watching my video. You don't you don't have to comment. I mean, if you comment with some questions, I'll I'll reply. But you don't have to subscribe. And I hope you enjoy, you know, your download. And um. That's the only thing I hate about hypercam. Okay. Come on.